PowerMill 2019.2 includes an improvement to the orientation vectors functionality that reduces the likelihood of machine collisions and shortens programming time and effort. Orientation vectors were often overlooked by many users as they required a more in-depth degree of software knowledge to be used correctly. The workflow has now been improved to add the option for PowerMill to automatically save suitable orientation vectors to your toolpaths and pass the information to the post processor for more consistent and safer results on your machine. Any 5-axis machine, when not in gimbal lock position, will only have two mathematically possible solutions to reach a given point with a given tool vector. Historically, it has been difficult for Parmel users to know what a good choice for the orientation vectors was. Hence, many programmers have them set by the startup macro to a fixed direction, with the azimuth angle often set to 0, 90, 180 or 270 degrees. These user-defined positions are, in many cases, impossible to achieve, due to machine configuration and kinematics, and could lead to ambiguous orientation vectors or undesirable behaviors requested while simulating, such as a retract and reconfigure move. By default, orientation vectors were set to free, but this resulted in similar behaviors to those caused by setting an ambiguous one, and meant that the users, due to subtly different starting conditions, may have seen different results when simulating compared to the real behaviors observed on their machines. This key problem has now been solved in PowerMill 2019.2 with the introduction of an Apply Orientation Vectors When Simulating checkbox. If this is ticked and the user has the suggested orientation drop-down set to free, the simulation will pick one orientation vector for each toolpath point, which will instruct the post-processor to use the same solution when writing the NC code. Similarly, with fixed direction or direction of travel selected, simulation will only use the closest possible solution to the suggested one, while avoiding unnecessary retract and reconfigures, updating the orientation vector to the correct one, which will also stay consistent when posting. This also works for 3 plus 2 axis toolpaths, where a single orientation vector will be used for the whole toolpath. Once this is turned on, the user will only need to worry about orientation vectors if the solution shown by simulation is undesirable. If this is the case, simply use the Swap Machine Configuration functionality within the Dynamic Machine Control environment. Let's now look at an example of how this new functionality works. In this project, I have a head table machine and a 3 plus 2 toolpath for this area of my part. If I open up the toolpath settings, we can see that I have not ticked the Apply Orientation Vectors When Simulating checkbox to mimic the behavior we would have seen in previous versions of Parmel. You can also notice that I have set a fixed orientation vector with an azimuth angle of 180 degrees and an elevation angle of 90 degrees, as an example. Before I simulate this toolpath, I'm going to create a work plane at the tip of my tool, as I expect to see an alignment between the orientation vectors and the x-axis of such work plane. If I now simulate, we can clearly see that they don't align, which could potentially result in discrepancies between simulation and the actual behavior on the machine. I'm now going to recalculate this toolpath with the Apply Orientation Vectors When Simulating checkbox ticked. In this case, we can easily see that the orientation vectors get updated automatically when I simulate. It is worth stressing that, as previously mentioned, with an appropriate option file, these changes will be passed to our output file, meaning the simulation and post-processed output are more likely to match each other. It is important to specify that the orientation vectors will only be set when a machine is used for simulation or NC program verification purposes, and the toolpath takes the machine out of gimbal lock, which means 3-axis toolpaths won't be assigned orientation vectors. Furthermore, it must be underlined that the improvement will not work if WS model is set as the solver associated to your MTD. You can check whether this is the case by expanding the drop-down menu for the relative machine tool. 
as you can see on my screen. If your solver is set to WS model and you want to access this new functionality, just navigate to the folder where your MTD file is stored and open it with the text editor. You can then change the post entity to PMP multi-axis, which will allow you to use the improved orientation vector setting. Finally, it's worth noting that in any new PowerMill project, the apply orientation vectors when simulating checkbox will be ticked by default. This will result in users not having to access the tab at all. However, for old PowerMill projects, the checkbox will still be unticked. To change the orientation vectors behavior without recalculating the toolpaths in your existing projects, just click on the Use Simulated Orientations button on the Toolpath Edit tab, and this will be changed for the active strategy. This improvement to the orientation vectors functionality within PowerMill 2019.2 aims to reduce programming time whilst increasing the accuracy of simulations and reducing the possibility of collisions occurring on your machine.